Okay everyone, I'm going to show you how to do the pyramid tort, how we're going to put it together. Uh, close up, this is a close up so it's a lot easier for you to see. So I'm going to be giving you a full, this is a, a full shake cake, so just a strip out of it. And what I want to do is I'm going to level the cake. I'm going to cut the ends off first. And then I'm going to level, you can see it's just a, a bit bumpy, but well, I'm going to take off that top, that top part of the cake. And I'm just barely, barely, barely skimming it. So I, I want to get rid of this excess here. Okay, so you can see, put that to the side. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna get rid of that. Just, I'm barely cutting off the very, very top layer. Just where there's a lump. You can see there's just a little bit of a lump there. Uh, that little, so I'm just gonna cut it so it's level. It's very thin. You can see how thin it is, okay? I just want to, because we're gonna cut these into um, three layers each. So let me set this here, okay? So now, I do have a damp towel on the side to wipe my knife in case it gets a little uh, sticky from the top of the cake. So now I'm going to cut this and just do very thin, just back and forth. Keep your knife straight. And just cut very slowly. Okay, now we're gonna do one more layer. So I usually lift the cake up and then I'll start and I'll start to slice again. And again, I'm holding my, my knife as straight as possible to get a clean cut. So let's hope I did, did it okay. So now we have one, two, three layers. Now we're gonna do our next cake. We'll put this aside. Let's do our next cake. And we're gonna slice it exactly the same way. So here's our first layer. There we go. And now we're gonna do the next layer. So I'm lifting up the cake and I can see where I gotta go in the middle of that. And again, I'm just gonna slice, let the knife do the work. And hopefully I got the cake pretty even. Let's see how I did. Here's one layer, there's two later. I did okay, huh? All right, ah. Molto bene, molto bene. Now I'm gonna look at the bottom of the cake. I'm gonna see how it looks. So there's a little bit of brown there. So let's let's trim that off. Now this is just very, 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 very thin layer. Just just take off that. It just adds so your cake looks really nice and clean instead of having a little bit of excess uh, in there. It just it's just better to do that. So I'm going to. Uh, trim this up a little as you can see you just take off that dry part from the flour and the spray when a cake bakes okay so we have three layers ready to go and I'm going to do that with the same the first cake I, I cut now you could do this before you start cutting your cake that way it's easier you can do it that way as well but um, either way I just I forgot to do that part and I realized, so I like to have it clean. So notice I'm, I'm trying to keep my fingers away from holding the cake, but I'm just going very, very careful. So that way I don't uh, cut myself. Okay, so now we have the refrigerator just went off. So now it's nice and quiet. <laughs> Okay, let me set this knife to the side. Now I'm going to look, I'm gonna see if I have to take care of any of these other little 
parts here. I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take these. Now we have our six layers. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean my area a little bit. Just brush these to the side so you can see what's going on. Okay, good, very good. Okay, so now I'm gonna get our cake and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in front of me. One, two, well, I'm gonna put it to the side. You know why? Because you're gonna to have to watch it on the camera. Six layers. I have some simple syrup. You can see the simple syrup here. So I'm gonna give us a, a little dash of simple syrup, keep the cake nice and moist. I have our offset spatula. You can see it. We have our white chocolate whipping ganache. So you see it's a little soft. And I'll, show, I'll do this again. Uh, I'm gonna do a large video with this. It's a little soft, so I'm gonna use a hand whisk and I'm going to tighten it up just a tad bit. So you can see how soft it's just a little, as it sat for a little while. So what I'm going to do is just tighten it up a little bit, just a little, not even 30 seconds. And now see the difference? So now it's, now it's stiff. Yeah, stiff enough, firm enough to, to be able to fill our cake. Okay, let me take that little dollop out of there. There, okay, so we're gonna fill our cake and all we're gonna do is probably, oh, I don't know, two, three, maybe a fourth of a cup is all it takes, just a thin layer. Don't worry about the sides. We're gonna clean that up in a little bit. Okay, have one layer, put your cake, press it down. We have our simple syrup. Okay, another layer of mousse. I'm gonna spread this evenly. Here we go. Okay, it's okay to get to the ends. Now the ends are gonna be a little different because they're, they're gonna be a little messy, but we're not gonna feel, we're not gonna actually gonna ice the ends of, the, of this cake. We're just gonna do the sides. Another layer. So now you could flavor the simple syrup as well, but you don't want it to be overbearing. You don't want to take too much, too many flavors. So you want to be careful to uh, keep it nice and complement each other. Again, we'll do maybe about a fourth of a cup. Nice and even layered. We just don't want it to have too much to where it's going to ooze out everywhere. Okay, one more, another layer. It's going to be a nice tall cake. And uh, we'll, you'll see, as soon as I have this together, you're going to see how nice, how nice it's going to be for your pyramid tour. Okay, so we've got one more layer to go after this and then we'll be able to put it all together. Then I'm gonna show you how to cut the cake. Everybody thinks, well, how do you cut that? And well, I'll show you and hopefully you'll be able to see uh, a good version of it. So notice my layers are nice and level. Okay, we wanna be careful and don't rip your cake either. Okay, you want to Make sure all the layers are nice and even. There's no lumps of icing in the center or the filling in the center. Notice I have it nice and, and even layered. So we have one more layer to go. You do not want to put, ah, guess what I forgot. Simple syrup. 
I'll have to find out how to say that in Italian. Okay, so you want to, uh, you don't want to put any of the mousse on the very top because that's going to be your, your icing. Uh, you're going to be icing it all. So we have to cut this the way we're going to cut this. Oh, there goes the refrigerator again. Okay, so we have all of our layers here. There's our last layer. Goes on top. Okay, looks good. Very good. Simple syrup. Doesn't have to be tons of it, but just enough to soak the cake, make it moist. All right. So what I like to do is I'm going to smooth out all the any of that I have the excess, and you can see all the layers. Okay. I want to do the same thing for this side. So now we have that ready to go. Okay. So now I want to pick up my cake. And I'm going to put it vertical, horizontal. Okay. Now you can see, actually see. I want to make sure you can see how the cake is cut. I have my knife. Okay. So, a lot of people try, when they go to cut this, they think, oh, it has to be corner to corner, uh, opposite ends, but it's the same corners that you're gonna start cutting. So it's this, the right-hand corner, the bottom and the top, 